What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how's it going today? Uh, today, it's Mr. Warmack. I'm definitely in the building. As you can see, I bought a friend of mine, if you can see, here he comes. In three, two, one. Hey, Johnson, you want to show up now? There he goes. Johnson, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Prison of Nigeria. And Johnson's having the same problem I'm having with this right now over this tough love Baltimore mother incident. And we're going to talk about that. And here we go right now. I'm going to compare it to the Adrian Peterson case. See? As you can see on the bottom on the bottom right, that's the mother from Baltimore who, uh, quote unquote, as you can see in, in, in the in the in the bottom third, tough love, Baltimore mother, whatever, whatever, yada yada. But see, the media glorified that. But at the same time, when was Adrian Peterson was disciplining his child, he was villainized, and he was he almost lost his. Uh, right to work where he was in the NFL. He was made of, like I said, he was villainized. He was made uh, a scapegoat. And to me, no, a lot of a lot of people are finally seeing this comparison. The media, I guess it's it's if it's, if, if the media if if you're uh, if you're from apparently if you're from the hood or you're a poor black, you deserve to get beat upside the head. But if you got money. Or if you're interracial, if your kid's interracial, you can't beat them. So, I mean, that's that's the message the media is sending to me. Because every then people try to tell me, well, there's a, there's no difference. AP was, I mean, look, AP probably, like I said, I made a video defending the guy because I believe what, what he did was right. AP is a bit, he's a pretty big dude, probably didn't know his own strength. I mean, so what he cracked the skin of the kid. I mean. She she wailed she wailed on her son. How you know he didn't, she didn't take an eye out or something? You, you don't know. But like I said, it's 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 how America is nowadays. And this is this is real overt, and I want people to notice this one because, like I said, AP almost lost his job. The Baltimore mom they're parading around as the America's best mother of the year. You want to watch beating on a black man? What do you think? Come on now. But the fact that remains is, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. And then uh, you can, and people don't like when you call this out because, and FYI, excuse me for the way I'm talking, because I'm getting over a cold, and right now I'm in a, I'm in a warm locale, so I have a lot of AC and fans running right now, so excuse me for my voice. But back to the lecture at hand. I'm just, it's, 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 it's disgusting, man, because... I saw that, and I seen. I mean, I was gonna let it, I was gonna let a lot of it slide. Whenever, whenever she, whenever she got her 15 minutes at first, you know, she being upside the head, brown home. Okay, all right, cool. But whenever they started parading around like a lap dog, you know how it is. I was like, hold on now. You're making her to be the champion of the world. You're gonna, you're gonna give her, you're gonna give the old okey doke. She's a single mother taking care of the kids, spin. But when AP was doing his manly job as a father, the media's like, well, well heaven's, heaven's the market, Troy. You know, we got to do something about this. There lies, therein lies the problem I have. One is a saint, the other one's a sinner for what they've done. And they've both done the same thing. Anything under, under the age of 17, laws apply. I mean... I don't believe the mother, like, they opened an investigation against the mother, and I'm going to, I'll defend the mother vigorously like I'll defend AP. I don't, def I don't feel, feel she was, you know, needs to be, uh, you know, investigated. But under the same coin, if you're going to say she cra he cracked the skin of his child, how do you, how do you know the mother wasn't, didn't jab the kid in the eye and, like, he, he got some blurred vision or something? Not know the kid ain't going to come out and say nothing, but I'm just putting that on the table there. See, and a lot of people need to recognize these. It's just slight, the slight undertones that are going on. Like I said, the AP was the situation. You got to look at the situation where he was at too. He was in Texas. 
if he was he had a biracial kid that wasn't a black or Mexican, and then when she claimed it, she claimed it, and he got money, and he was acting up for a minute. So add all those components together, you get what you get. But uh, and I mean he acting up. I mean like as far as what the NFL is like, he wanted. They say he wanted more money. And he wanted this and that. He wanted to leave. So it's basically one of them put you in your place type deals. But like I said, the Baltimore mother is the same. It's the same thing. And people are gonna say, "Well, he was riding." Look, discipline is discipline. If, if AP's disciplining his kid because he's bullying his other kid, that's discipline. You'd rather him take care of it now than the police take care of it later. As you can see, they're doing a bang up job right now. But me personally, I feel it's the, it's, it's the same. It's, the, it's it's one pea in the same. It's two peas in the same pod. You can't villainize AP and all of a sudden give this chick the the you know the purple heart, you know the medal of distinction here. So that's just my opinion. You know, I think it's wrong. Like I said, I'll defend her for what she did. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going after her for punishing the child. No, I believe in that. I'm going after the system for how two two peas in the same pod. One can be a saint. One can be a sinner. So if you don't know the difference, you're the problem. So I'm out. Peace.